everyone, today we will be going over how to design a standard 8.5 by 11 inch event flyer, like the example shown here. First, make sure you change your size from the A4 default setting to letter and change your default unit to inches. First, we're going to create our colored background by going to the Insert Shape tool, clicking on the document, and changing the width and height to match the document width and height. Drag the rectangle you just created to fit the size of the document. You may notice that this box has a black stroke around it. Scribus automatically adds a black line to every shape when you first create them. To change this, go to Colors. Make sure you click on the Line Color Properties and choose None. And then go back to the Fill Color Properties. You can use whatever color you would like for your background. In the example that we have here, we're using a sky blue color. The sky blue color in the example is not one of Scribus' default colors, so we must create it ourselves. To create new colors, go to Edit, Colors, New. You can click on the sky blue section of the color map to give a starting point, and then adjust the sliders as you see fit to get the exact shade that you would like. Give the color a name, and choose OK. With your shape still selected under the fill color properties, select the color you just made, and now we can start adding our text. Go to the text frame tool, drag out your text box, double click inside of the text box to start typing, and you can enter your event title here. To edit your text, make sure it's selected and go to the text panel under properties. If you don't see your properties window, you can go to windows and click properties to bring it up. In our example, we use a font called Bakery. The font size is 90 points, and we're going to change the font color to white, which is found under Color and Effects. Next, we're going to add the date and time by drawing out another text box. The font we use for this portion is called Leto Bold. The font size is 34. Make sure you change your line spacing to automatic so the text does not overlap, and change the font color to white. Underneath the line spacing setting are options to position your text. Let's choose the second one from the left to center it. Next, we're going to add a paragraph to give more details about this event. When you have this text written, make sure you select all of it. Go back to the text panel. The font we're using for this paragraph is Leto Regular. The font size is 28, line spacing is automatic, and like the other two bodies of text, the font color will be white. Next, you can add your organization logo. Go to the Insert Image Frame tool, right click on the frame, and choose Get Image. You may need to adjust your image a little bit within the frame. To do this, double click on your image, go to the Image tab under Properties, and adjust your X scale and Y scale. Since we want to make it smaller, we will choose a value that's less than 100. And make sure whatever value you choose, you enter the same value for both the X scale and the Y scale, so that the image will scale proportionately. Underneath your logo, you can add your organization information, draw out one last text box, the font is Leto Regular, and the font size is 14. Change the color to white. The last thing we're going to add to the flyer is a dotted line in between the event title and event details. This will add a visual element to the flyer while separating the information. Just like we had to create a custom color for the background, we will need to create our own line style for the line we're going to add. Go to Edit, Styles, New Line Style. We're going to change the line style to this one. It's the third one from the top. Change the cap type to round and the join style to bevel. We're going to make the line width four point and the color white. Make sure you name your new style Choose Apply, 
and then you can close out of the style manager, go to the insert line tool, click and drag, and while dragging make sure you hold command if you're on a Mac computer or control if you're on a Windows computer so the line will stay horizontal. Now under properties go to line, choose the style you just created, and there you go. Lastly, we're going to make some minor adjustments to the position of the text just to give better spacing. We're going to move these two text boxes down by using the down arrow key. And now we're going to move the line down a little bit. Make sure you save your file, go to File, Save As, and you can name it whatever you'd like. And now we are done. That's how you can create a simple, colorful event flyer for your organization. We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.